Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of November 18th through the 24th. Keep in mind, don't try to make this reading fit. It may be for you, it may not. Bits and pieces may, the other pieces may not. Keep that in mind. Well, let's just see what comes up for Aries. This card is going to be delivered in the upright position. If it comes out reverse, then we will consider it, but I will flip it to the upright because um, there's always a, uh, an opportunity to change things, right, with tarot readings? So what do we got? What do we have for Aries? Woman holding heart. You could be, if you are a male, you could be, I mean, 4-4, four, four. Four, four is an angel number, just so you know. Um, you could be headed towards a woman with a big heart, or you may have your eye on a woman with a really big heart. This woman, it, it has a big heart, but she may be holding on to it and not giving it away, because, I mean, she's holding it. She's holding her heart, you know what I mean? It's like she has a big heart, but... I don't think she gives it away very easily, okay? Takes a lot of effort to get this person's heart. If you are an Aries woman, this is you. It's like you're holding on to your heart, right? Right? So this is definitely a woman holding heart. She has a really, really, really big heart. Um, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. She may be, it's almost, and it's funny that I said 4-4. Four, four. There's, there's an angel presence here. So I'm not sure who this woman is, but um, it's almost, I keep wanting to say angelic. So whatever that means, I don't know. Um, but we have a big hearted woman here who is still holding on to her heart. It's like she's, she hasn't given it away and she's not going to give it away easily. So, but it's a big heart either way. Gong, an exciting event. You are about to have an exciting event, okay? This is something that could have to do with your heart, just saying. So, an exciting event. Well, I guess we gotta take those, don't we? Casket, not good at all casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation so you may be facing the end of a situation sunrise new creative ideas new ventures fresh start endings bring new beginnings so you probably have a new beginning here man Dealings or relationships with a man. Diamond. You'll be receiving a precious gift. So you're going to be receiving a precious gift. You could be, you could be receiving a precious gift. It could be this. If you're the masculine, you could be receiving, you could be coming into contact with this woman that has a really big heart. dealings or relationship with a man if you're the woman you're gonna there's gonna be uh there could be uh, obviously dealings with a relation or a relationship with a man this man um could be your diamond i just saw that there could be this could be the person you end up marrying There's a fresh start here. There's the end to something. This is an exciting new beginning. You have an exciting new beginning here. You do, Aries. We have an exciting new beginning for you. We could have a, a man that is going out of your life or something is ending for a man, but this is exciting. It really, 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 really is. It's a very pivotal moment. There's probably going to be an announcement of some sort. This is a new relationship. This is an offer of love. This is relationship growth.
somebody is headed towards a more loving situation headed towards a new relationship or the relationship could be stepping it up to the next level but with this casket there is something that is ending and that is the truth Ooh, there's been some unfair treatment there's an injustice here Somebody has been abused, could be mentally abused, or somebody could have been lying. There's like a, this is, this is heavy lies. Big lies. Untrustworthy. Somebody has been lied to or treated unfairly. There could be some abuse, some neglect. Somebody hasn't been seeing a situation clearly about an injustice. They're, they're, this is a very secretive energy. I just got to tell you it is. Somebody may, it's just saying, it's, there could be some secrets around a situation. Somebody hasn't been seeing the situation clearly. There's lies, there's deception, there's deceit. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Knight of Swords. Something is going to happen just like that. There's going to be an instant change. This is very fast. It's very matter of fact. Some sort of facts are going to come out. Could be dealing with a queen of wands. This could be you. I don't know. But this, in this position, this is somebody who is lacking ambition, lacking drive, a uh, lack of passion, a lack of fertility, no desire to do anything, uh, feeling down. Um, somebody may be feeling ill. There's a there's there could be some health issues. Just saying, this is you not being in your element. Okay. Hmm. And it could be because of abuse. You could be dealing with somebody that is cold. And this could be wanting a relationship. And if you were the feminine watching this, you may be wanting a relationship. You may be wanting somebody to love you. You've got a really big heart, but you're dealing with somebody who is abusive. This could go for the male as, as well. We have an abuser here. This is abuse. And this is mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect, which is bringing somebody down. Somebody is being brought down. But this is... This is um, Fast forward movement, things happening very fast, a sudden, sudden uh, charge or a sudden shock, something like that. Somebody's going to be putting in effort. This is a sudden change. Now, the Knight of Coins, somebody didn't, somebody's not passing a test or they may, they may have come in with a bunch of love and it wasn't real. This is uh, stalling, stopped, something coming to a stop. There could be relationship that is coming to a stop. I'm sorry, we do have the casket here. So that something going out of your life or the end of a situation. So there's some sort of relationship, could be a work relationship or it could, whatever it is, it's some something that... There's been some sort of abuse. Something is coming to a stop. Now, putting in effort. Somebody is putting in effort, working really hard, investigating. Trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Work, this is burning the midnight oil. This person is burning the midnight oil. Trying to figure out what the hell is going on. There's going to be a sudden change in a contract, okay? There really is. The Lovers is a contract that isn't meant to be. It's the end of a contract. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini a couple times and Libra.
There's no compatibility here. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. This is the death of an idea or the death of a person. It's time to take a break. It's time to relax. It's time to let go of this contract. It's the end. This is the end of a contract. And it's because there's no there's no passion for it. There's no desire. There's no attraction to it anymore. And it's brought you down in some way. It's really caused poor health, ill health. There's been a lot of abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect, silent treatment, perhaps. This is something coming, coming to a complete halt. This is a dead end. This is, this is like the death of an idea or a person. So there is a contract. It's a false contract that is coming to an end suddenly. The Knight of Swords is sudden, sudden, very quick. Now, this is unfair Somebody has um, been treated unfairly. This is an injustice. There's been lies. There's been deception. Somebody is doing something at night. Something is going to happen at night. You may not be prepared. You may not be prepared for whatever this is. Maybe you didn't see it coming. There's been a delay. This, there's a delay here and here. These are both delays. The Knight of Coins reverse and the Three of Wands. There's been a delay of having a relationship or something like, or having love or being loved. There's been a delay. There's frustration. There's extreme highs and lows, ups and downs. Somebody is getting impatient. Somebody has been impatient. They're sick of waiting. They're sick of waiting for justice. Sick of waiting for love. Sick of waiting for things to change. And it's like, it's just, it's just, I gotta get out. I gotta take a break. I gotta, I gotta go by, by myself. This is be alone. This is the end of a contract. Somebody may be sneaking away. There's been betrayal. Somebody may see that there's been betrayal. They may get caught. It's like when they look back, they, they see. They see the they see the extreme. This is very unbalanced both of these cards somebody has been in a situation that was one-sided where there was a lack of balance there was a lack of equal give and take there's a lack of reciprocation there was a lack of harmony there was a lack of of working together working with somebody that and this is working with somebody that is re refusing to compromise so it's like you know i just i just gotta go with the knight of swords it's like this is a sudden uh Retreat, a sudden retreat, a sudden desire to slip away, a sudden, re this is okay, sudden retreat. So somebody may suddenly retreat and sneak away from a contract that isn't compatible, it's not harmonious. I mean, this is a contract that isn't, it's a karmic contract, and this is a karmic contract that isn't meant to be. They're both reversed. We have a contract, whether it is at work or at home, that is coming to an end, Aries. We have a contract that is coming to an end. And it's like there's there's been resistance, and somebody has not been seeing, been not, not been seeing it. They truly have not been seeing it. But you may not have seen it coming, but it's it's coming. It's going to lead you towards a new relationship. So we do have an exciting event that is about to start. And you will receive a gift after something ends. You will. There is a, something to do with a man here. This man could be making the decision. This man may be making... This is a, a man, and this is too. Anyway, there's a man making a decision. And it looks like he's making a decision to retreat. There's going to be a retreat. 
starting over. This is a fresh start, deciding to start over, looking for love, looking for real love, looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. We do have a woman here that is holding her heart. She hasn't given it away. She's waiting for somebody to come and retrieve it. She's waiting for somebody to give it to somebody that is um, capable of loving her. But there's there's a lack of of uh, healing here. Somebody, it's like there's still some sort of healing that is needed uh, over a past betrayal. So maybe you need to take a break and take time to heal. Maybe it's just not time to get into a relationship because you haven't completely healed. If you've been lied to by another person, deceived to the highest degree, because I think it is to a pretty high degree here. I think if you've been lied to, if you've been deceived, if you've if there's been an injustice, somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions, you know, healing is absolutely needed and it hasn't happened yet. It's like there's an inability to heal. But we do have a sudden change here. This is like something happening very fast. Somebody could be rushing in. This is this is this is in a hurry, in a hurry to get the hell out of here to to start anew so we do have some sort of news that is arriving somebody has definitely been betrayed they have been brought to their knees by a person that just didn't care who they hurt they didn't care at all who they hurt somebody with a lot of pride and a big big ego I feel as though somebody is about to take a new a new uh, adventure, honestly, with this. This is an exciting, it's funny, this is it right here, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, this page of wands. You may be receiving an invitation or an offer to go someplace else, to start over someplace else, to do something more exciting, more along the lines of what you're passionate about. It's like you may, somebody may give you a new opportunity that really uh, excites you, okay? So you're going to get an exciting offer this week. This exciting offer will give you the opportunity to sever ties with somebody that has stolen your energy, stolen your desire, stolen your drive, really held you back, held you down. Somebody that bullied you, somebody that mentally, verbally, maybe even physically abused you. This is you moving in a new direction very, very quickly. Like just, just getting the hell out of there. So this is, and this is the end, okay, this is the end. So we have the end of something that is leading you down a new exciting path that you are going to be so excited about. It's like the minute that door opens, you're like, wow, thank you, God. That's what I feel like this is. This, this is going to break you free from this uh, belittling situation that you have been in. You may not have seen it for what it was. There could have been a lack of foresight. You may have been dealing with somebody that lacked integrity, you know, and they just caused a lot of upheaval in your life and a lot of upside up, upside downs, you know what I mean? Things just turned your life upside down. But I think that somebody is maybe getting some sort of karma and this reading can go vice versa. So this is karma, bad karma. Somebody's life is going to be turned upside down. Because of their inability to act with integrity. So something is arriving that you didn't even see coming. If you have acted with integrity, then you could be receiving something um, beautiful. A new relationship, a new love, whatever it is. Relationship growth. If you have acted with integrity. But we have somebody here that has not acted with integrity. And the Knight of Swords is often like a tower card. It really is. It's like a sudden shock to the system. 
suddenly something is going to arrive that you did not see coming. And for some of you, this is going to be a good opportunity that helps you to sever ties with whatever it is that broke you. So Aries, be prepared to receive an exciting invitation or an exciting offer that really excites you and, and helps you. This could help you to heal from this controlling individual, whoever this person is. You may be feeling defeated and that's why your energy has been so low. You may feel like you've been in some sort of crisis, depleted definitely depleted but things are about to spring up for you things are about to change in a positive way it's like they're bringing you some sort of good news or good opportunity that is going to change your direction and that's what i got good luck